While we stayed at Magnolia Park Campground for two weeks here in Orange County, and you have to check out that site to site campground tour video we have, we were able to do some of the local attractions. One was the great sunsets right across the street at Lake Apopka. And there's a little park right next to that boat ramp where you start the loop trail, which I didn't do because it's too hot. And we went to the Lake Apopka Scenic Drive. I suggest you go a little earlier. It beats the crowds and it's not as hot, but you will see gators and gators, turtles and birds, 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 birds. It is a birder's paradise. There's also a historic pump station that we visited. So I hope you check this out. Welcome back everyone. But if you're new, I'm Alice and Larry's not here right now because he's inside our grand design with the cool air because remember he's from Canada and he can't handle this Florida heat. I was born in Georgia and lived in South Florida most of my life. But we <laughs> are downsizing makes sense like the penny. We are two 50 something empty nesters who went full time mid February with our two pups who are also in the air conditioning because we wanted to live life more deliberately. Magnolia Park, the Loop Trail and the Wildlife Drive are all located in Apopka on the shores of Lake Apopka about 30 minutes from downtown Orlando and about 40 minutes from the Disney area. I'm going to zoom in on the park here. Come in here off of Highway 429 and you exit, you end up on Binney Road here, which is the entrance to the Trailhead and Magnolia Park. I'm going to switch over to the area map. Now here's the Lake Apopka North Shore map. Right here is the entrance at Magnolia Park for the Loop Trail. You follow this green line right here along the shoreline and the loop trail continues along here and eventually exits down over here at the Green Mountain Trailhead. The entrance for the Wildlife Drive is right here following this blue line. It's a one way only. You start here off of Lust Road and you continue along this blue line. You can take the route that goes along the lake itself. We took this, followed along McDonald Canal Road and it ends over here at the Jones Avenue Stormwater Park and that is the exit for the Wildlife Drive. I am so excited. Look, we're at the Wildlife Drive, which is just like, what was it, five minutes away from Magnolia Park? I didn't even know when I booked Magnolia Park that this existed, but doing research, I found it. It's 11 mile one way loop, and it's got little scenic pull offs. It's only open on the weekends. It's like a birder's paradise. If you want to take pictures of birds, this is where you want to go but there's supposed to be gators and all sorts of other wildlife and you can do it from your car the whole time or you can pull off and look so i hope you enjoy this awesome. larry will you enjoy it <laughs> i don't know three hours i don't know we'll see it's for me it's a three hour tour it's three hour tour <laughs> it's all for me baby all right let's roll In 2016, an audio tour was made available and it includes 11 points of interest along the Wildlife Drive. This is stop number three. This is the one that everyone seems to think is the must see. It is the historic pump house. Having to do back when farmers and citrus growers actually pumped out this beautiful area for their farming. And now they're trying to restore it. Wait, stop. It's a baby turtle. Let me move him. Oh, there's a little turtle. 
We found this little guy. We almost ran him over, and I'm sure someone else will. I don't know if we're supposed to do this, but I can't help myself. I need to move him before he gets squished. Okay. Just throw him into the friggin' weeds over there. Yeah. You see, he's a little oh, teeny little guy. The Lake Apaka North Shore is widely known for its bird population. In 1998, 174 species of birds were identified. This number has grown to over 362 species. The Lake Apaka Wildlife Festival and Birdapalooza has had its base for six times at Magnolia Park featuring the North Shore Drive. Audubon Society calls this in its top five winter events. Other wildlife routinely seen include numerous bobcats, otters, bears, raccoons, armadillos, and coyotes. I know a lot of people stay inside their cars and take pictures from the window, especially when it's like 100,000 degrees out, but get out of the car because look, there's a bird, a big bird. Here's another view. Sit on the outside of your window. Actually, no, don't do that. I'll get in trouble for telling you to do that. Kids, don't do this. You see that splash of water? What was that? So, even though this is like midday, end of June, hot as heck, there's tons of cars. What you need to do is just bring snacks, pull over when you can, and there's a long line. I keep saying this, get out of the car. You're not gonna get the shot, even with the super zoom, unless you get out of the car. But it's so hot. Yes, it's hot. But get out of the car! Yeah, that zoom on that video camera is awesome. It's crazy. Wait till you see how with far the built, away. With the built-in gimbal. Wait till you see how it's far amazing. away this is. If it comes really close to you, after it bites you, I'll get the, I'll help you. But we gotta get it on video. He's just kidding, folks. Just kidding, folks. It was a log, and then we thought maybe he was dead, but he's alive, and he's big. This reminds me of when I was a kid, back in the day, in South Florida, and we used, this was every summer, we'd have this many dragonflies. Okay, here we are at the Lake Apopka Loop Trail. It's across from Magnolia Park and the campground. According to the map, we are here. This is the beginning of the trailhead. Now this is also a nice little public park. There's a playground, there's a bathroom, but what I'm gonna show you is just the beginning of the loop trail. While filming for the loop trail, we discovered it must be cricket mating season. They were everywhere. In the 1870s, early settlers used the waterways here as commercial highways. In 1872, William A. Lovell purchased 225 acres of land on the northwest side of the lake. Eventually, fruits and vegetables from 17 landings around the lake were brought to Lovell's Landing. In the 1920s, a dock, clubhouse, and picnic grounds were built at the landing. 1.5 mile portion of the trail is shared with drivers on the Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. 
The loop trail is expected to circumnavigate Lake Apopka in the future. Lovell's Landing, it is the start of the Lake Apopka Loop Trail. It's not actually a loop, it's actually more like an arc. And according to different websites, it's either 17 miles, 18 miles, but if you do the loop there and back, it's over 30 miles. The Lake Apopka area has a long history. In the early 1800s, an important Seminole village stood near Lake Apopka, and Tomokuan people once fished this lake. From the 1920s through the 50s, national guidebooks saw the lake as an angler's paradise. More than 20 fishing camps lined the lake's shoreline, and supposedly, Humphrey Bogart and Clark Gable visited. In 1941, Lake Apopka North Shore size was reduced from 50,000 acres to 30,000 when separated by a levee because the U.S. government needed land to help provide food for the troops during World War II. These farms continued to grow. As a result, the lake's fish population began to decline in the 60s, with major die-offs occurring almost yearly. One of the worst was in 1981, when an estimated 4 million fish died. The lake was finally officially identified for cleanup in 1987, and in 1996, a statute was passed providing funds to buy additional agriculture lands north of the lake. A $4 million project is being proposed to bring back ecotourism to the lake featuring Magnolia Park. Lake Apopka is the state's fourth largest lake and is fed by a natural spring, rainfall, and stormwater runoff. It is the headwaters of the Oglawaha Chain of Lakes and is approximately 48 square miles. So here's the boat ramp for Lake Apopka. This is where you want to go for your sunsets. And this is one of the few places that you can put in your own canoe or kayak on Lake Apopka. Here we are at Lake Apopka, which is just across the street from Magnolia Park where we've been staying, and it's going to be a beautiful sunset. So many people come here for the sunset, and it's about to go down right now. We hope you enjoyed our adventures while we stayed at Magnolia Park Campground in Orange County. Now my favorite were the sunsets at Lake Apopka, and there are a lot of photographers that show up for that, so get your spot. And the Lake Apopka Scenic Drive was amazing. And please, get out of the car. The best shots are not shot from inside the car, so get out of the car. If you've done the Lake Apopka, scenic drive please leave your comments below what did you like what was the best time of year to go because we definitely went at the wrong time of year too hot if you've done the sunsets at lake apopka if you've done the loop trail which is really long like 13 miles arc let me know in the comments so if you like this please subscribe over here this is my first time alone and please playlist is over here for more videos like this, hopefully not all by myself again. And remember, downsizing does make sense. <laughs>